uh, discussing our implementation, as we mentioned earlier, uh, there's lots of functionality, lots of great functionality uh, that you can deploy as part of OBIDE. Um, make sure that uh, you don't necessarily roll out a ton of content, a ton of information, a ton of functionality all at once because that becomes extremely overwhelming to your user base. Uh, what you want to do is you want to implement in incremental releases. So do not boil the ocean. Do not uh, take a year to develop a ton of dashboards and reports and then launch them out to the end users. It's, it doesn't, it, that doesn't necessarily work. Uh, one thing that BI Consulting Group likes to do within their projects is ensuring as we're building that we're involving the business. And we're constantly in front of the business uh, getting their feedback uh, to ensure that we're building the right type of stuff too. It also helps provide some buy-in to what's actually being developed. Uh, when we do our incremental releases, the first release we uh, you know, like to implement some general OBIEE functionality. Uh, we like to get our end users feet wet on dashboards uh, and all the capabilities that you have inside a dashboard. A dashboard allows for many different permutations of reports. Uh, you have column selectors and view selectors and all that great things that you don't necessarily need to roll answers out right away. And as a best practice within our firm, we try not to roll out answers until a little bit later. Allow your end users to really get used to the functionality inside OBIDE. On your second phase, potentially roll out answers to a small group of users, uh, ensuring that they get the right training on how to use answers uh, so suddenly you don't have a support headache with everybody calling saying my report doesn't work or I'm not getting the right information so ensure that you're rolling it out with good training uh, not just on the functionality inside of OBIE and how to use answers but really on the subject area that you've built uh, so they get a good handle on what information and content is available to them. And then finally maybe in the third phase you start rolling out some delivers alerts and, and things along that lines. Again make sure that uh, you, you're not overwhelming your end users. Very key.